Okay, so for our last video in the fractions section, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. So, as an example, uh, let's add 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. And you may remember from uh, way back when, when you took this algebra class, um, that in order to subtract, in order to add or subtract fractions, um, what you first have to do is find the common denominator. You can't add fractions unless they have a common denominator. Uh, so we want to find a common denominator. So we want to get these fractions uh, in a form where they both have the same denominator. And the question is, how can we do this? Um, the denominator on the left fraction is a 5. The denominator on the right fraction is a 3. How could we possibly get those denominators to be the same? Uh, so let's talk about four fifths. Four fifths. Um, something that we can do that is legal, uh, just like we did before when we were reducing fractions to lowest terms, uh, instead of dividing both the numerator and the denominator by a number, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So. Let's say, for example, we took this 4 fifths and we multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 3. What we'd get is that 4 fifths, uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15. So 12 over 15 is the same as 4 fifths, or the same fraction. Now let's look at 2 thirds. What we can do. Uh, to get this to have the same denominator as the 4 fifths, the 12 fifteenths does now, um, is we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5. What we get when we do this, we multiply straight across, of course, like we always do. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15. Now what we have are two fractions that have the same denominator. So 4 fifths plus two-thirds can be rewritten as 12 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths. Now those two fractions have the same denominator and therefore they can be added. So we can do that. Um, we can combine both of these fractions so that they have the same denominator. Now the same denominator is 15 now you can combine the numerators by adding. You get 12 plus 10 in the numerator, 15 in the denominator. So you get 12 plus 10 is 22, 15. So 4 fifths plus 2 thirds equals 12 15 plus 10 15. Add those together and you get 22 15. And then you have to look at that and you have to say, can it be reduced to lowest terms? And as it turns out, in this case, um, this is reduced to lowest terms. So uh, that might be a little bit confusing. Let's try another one. Uh, let's talk about 1 third plus 1 half. We want to add those two fractions together. So to do this, uh, what we're going to do is find a common denominator. And so what you have to do is you have to look at this, find common denominator. So you have to look at those two fractions and figure out what can my common denominator be. Um, the brute force technique to finding a common denominator is taking one denominator and multiplying it by the other one. So just take the two denominators, multiply them together. Uh, three times two equals six. That common denominator will work. Anytime you're looking for a common denominator, if you want to do it, it uh, might not be the fastest way to do it, but if you want to do it in a way that will work every time, just take the two denominators, multiply them together. So our common denominator in this case is 6. So 1 third. We want to take this 1 third and we want to turn it into a fraction that has a denominator of 6. The way that we do this is we just multiply by 2. That's how we got the 6 in the first place, we multiplied by 2. So we multiply straight across and we get 
One third equals two sixths. Then we look at one half. The question is how can we get one half to have a denominator of six? And the way that we found the six in the first place is we multiplied it by three. So to get uh, one half converted into a fraction that has a denominator of six, we multiply it by three, over three. Multiply straight across, and you get that one half equals three sixths. So what we've done is we've changed this problem up here, this one third plus one half, into a problem uh, that we can actually solve. Uh, the one third we converted into two sixths. The one half we converted right here into three sixths. Those two fractions have the same denominator, so we can add them. Add the numerators, you get two plus three. The denom denominator stays the same. Uh, two plus three equals five. Denominator is six. The fraction is in the lowest term, so we don't have to reduce it, and we're finished.